The Hurricane was a British single-seat fighter aircraft manufactured by Hawker Aircraft in the 1930s and 40s. The Hurricane was numerically the most important British fighter during the critical early stages of World War II, sharing victory laurels with the Superman in Spitfire in the Battle of Britain and defense of Malta. Hurricane served in all theaters of war where the British forces were engaged. The U-2 is a single-seat high-altitude jet aircraft flown by the United States for intelligence, gathering, surveillance and reconnaissance. Perhaps the most famous spy plane ever built, the U-2, also known as the Dragon Lady, has been in service since 1956. A prototype flew in 1955 and the last plane in the series was built in 1989. The B-52, also called Stratofortress, is a US long-range heavy bomber designed by the Boeing company in 1948, the first flown in 1952 and first delivery for military service in 1955. Though originally invented to be an atomic bomb carrier capable of reaching the Soviet Union, it has proven at the table to a number of missions and some B 52s are expected to remain in service well into the 21st century. The B-52 has a wingspan of 185 feet and length of 160 feet, 10.9 inches. It is powered by the eight jet engines mounted under the wing in four twin pots. The F-16, also called Fighting Falcon, is a single-seat, single-engine jet fighter built by General Dynamics Corporation for United States and more than a dozen other countries. The F-16 originated in order to place in the 1972 for a lightweight, cost-effective air-to-air fighter. Correct models are also all-weather capable and is effective for ground attacks as well. The US Air Force took the first delivery in 1978. <coughs> the Russian Aerospace Design Bureau's MiG-21 is a lightweight single-engine interceptor capable of flying at twice of the speed of sound, was introduced in 1955. The basic version which entered service in 1958 was a simple low-cost day fighter that was highly maneuverable, easy to maintain and able to operate the unimproved airfields. The design Bureau produced more than 9000 MiG-21s in as many as 32 versions for the Air Force of the Soviet Union and more than 40 other countries and licensed it as a version of production in China. After adapting jet propulsion to several piston engine airframes, Tupolev in 1952 introduced the Tu-16, a medium-range bomber that features sweat wings and light alloy construction. A team under Alexander A. Arkhangelsky, longtime associate of company co-founder Andrei Tupolev, designed of the Tu-95, a huge turboprop bomber that first flew in 1954 and became one of the most durable military aircraft ever built and one of the longest lived aircraft in Soviet strategic arsenal. Russia still operates more than 50 Tu-95 aircraft as cruise missile carriers. <laughs> 